Hi everyone, in this video we are going to share our wireframe with our client in this case. Okay, so we're going to send it to them, they're going to be able to, this person's name Neil, okay, and they're going to add comments, okay, and different pins, so this one here, they can add pins to mark specific things to tell me, yeah, to give me feedback as a designer. I'm going to show you how to create the link, send it to them, and how you kind of work with these comments between you and your client. All right, let's jump in. All right, to get going, uh, let's go to this third tab here. So design we've used, prototype we've used. Now let's look at share. Okay, share allows us on this side here to send a link to, let's call him Neil. Neil is a fictional character. He's a simple creature. Okay, he, I, I kind of use him as an example because I want to keep this simple for whoever I'm sending it to because I don't know their level of expertise on a computer, that type of thing. So that's Neil. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set kind of where this animation starts. So back here in prototype, okay, click on where you want this thing to go. Okay, if you've got two, like I just did, you turn one off and just have one on. You can have multiple flows. Nah, it's too much for where we are now, but we're just going to have one flow, okay, at least on one of these pages. This is where it's going to start. So I can go to share. I'm going to choose flow one. And the most common one is design review. Okay, it's going to allow for commenting, which is the big thing. Okay, and it's up to you uh, and how secure you need to be, whether it's going to be password protected. Okay, you just give it a password or people that you've emailed, still not password protected. Not anybody with a link can access it. I want that anybody with a link to access. Okay, and all you do is click create link. Kind of thinks about it for a second and you should get a little URL. All right, and that's the thing you want to share. You can send it to Behance, you can embed it on a website if you like. We're just going to send a link. Okay, so we're going to copy the link. Okay, and I'm going to open it up and pretend to be Neil. You wait there, I'm going to put my Neil hat on. All right, I'm Neil and I've got the link in an email or DM or something, you've sent it to him. Okay, and I open it up. All right, and this is what Neil sees. The nice thing about it is that Neil doesn't have to log in, which is probably one of the really big perks here of, you know, it falls down a bit when people have got to sign up for an Adobe ID just to review your work. Um, so uh, this one here, they can do everything as a guest. So they can start interacting with it. So I'm Neil going through and we're going like, oh yeah, that seems good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's go back. I don't have any of my links sorted out. Okay, bad, bad, bad. I don't have my links working, which is bad. I should fix those for Neil. Okay, but there is some basic navigation. Well, you might have to educate your client a little bit about how did this works. Okay, homepage, cycling through it. They can use the arrow keys. And um, where it gets nice is that, let's say that they do decide that this is, let's go to learn more. This bounce, they're like, man, uh, they want to add a comment. So they can add two kinds of comments, just a generic one. Okay, hit submit. And they can decide whether they're going to sign with their Adobe ID to kind of be a bit more official. Okay, uh, it's free to sign up for an Adobe ID. You don't have to have a Creative Cloud license, a paid one. Okay, you can use just a free ID. Or they can do um, this. So Neil, is that Neil? We'll do that for Neil. Okay, and the cool thing about it is that, yeah, Neil gets to kind of interact, add comments without going down the rabbit hole of signing up and passwords and that sort of stuff. So that's really cool. So you can do kind of a generic one for this particular page, but also you can do a more specific one. See this page, uh, place a pin? This is where the education might have to be with the client, explain that you can do pins and generic comments. Um, so the pin here, you can decide on this one here. Okay, and they're going to say something like, this isn't our logo, is it? Okay, and submit. Now, so that's a bit more specific with the pin. It's actually pointing at something, whereas this one's just a bit more all over the place, like generic feedback. So how do you access it on your side as a designer? So no longer Neil, goodbye Neil. Uh, I'm going to be Dan the designer. Um, not at the moment, okay, we keep talking about it, but they're going to potentially bring in the comments inside of the app, which you'd be like, huh, why isn't that there? It just isn't at the moment. Okay, so what you do as a designer is you'll get an email explaining that somebody's added a comment to your link. Okay, so you get an email notifying it. Um, or you can just go to the web-based version. So even though you, this link here is for Neil, you can actually just use it for yourself. So I'm gonna copy the link. There you go, I am the same link as Neil, but because I'm logged in with my Adobe ID, I get to do a few extra things. Okay, I get to see Neil's guest comments, which is cool. Um, let's have a look, oh, yeah, this isn't our logo. If I click on it, you see it took me to the page, 
and it has like the little pin there and kind of lines up. More than one pin, you'll have different numbers. Cool, and I can go back and say no. Okay, and submit it, and that will you know add to this uh, kind of story here. Now Neil can go back as a guest and keep adding comments as well and check on it as well. Or I might decide that I've done it all and I'm gonna actually go into here and say I'm gonna resolve this one so it's gone off that list. Gone, it's done, I've checked that off my list. So that's how you do commenting. Okay, you can decide to do it as a guest or get the person to log in, a little bit more extra details for them because they'll get notified when there's been an update or a reply for you. Um, let's say that I do though decide that, what's up with this bouncing? Okay, I'm gonna go fix that. So back to being Dan the designer, I'm gonna go into here and it's this page here. So I'm gonna go back to prototype. This page here has, which is this button here, isn't it? Zoom in. It's this button here. So it has push left bounce. So we're just going to do an ease out. Cool. And we're going to save it. How do we update it? It doesn't update automatically. Okay. You got to kind of tell it to update. So you go to share and you go to this one. Can you see update link? All it does is kind of looks at your document and updates anything. The link is still the same. You don't have to send out a new one. Okay. And you can say, hey, Neil, check out that link again or send it to them again and say, hey, check it out. What do you think of this? All right, I'm back being Neil and I've gone to the link again. Okay, I can still see my comment because Dan the designer hasn't replied to it, but let's have a little look. Back to the home page, let's click on this and more of a better ease. What do we think of that? I say, good job, Dan. <laughs> All right, so that is commenting or the basics of commenting in Adobe XD. The only thing to keep an eye out is that they may at some stage bring it into the app. I really want them to. They don't at the moment though. Okay, I'm inside Adobe XD rather than a browser. I want to be able to see them down here. Come on, guys. But until that, just use that web link to see the comments. You'll get notified via email when they do get posted there, though. All right, that is sharing your wireframes with Neil. Goodbye, you. Goodbye, Neil. And goodbye, me. I will see you in the next video. Hi there. My name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well, uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.